Hey up everyone! It's time for what the fuck is going on? It's whatever you're getting two of these today, eh? Whatever. It's how it goes, man. It's crazy. Like other day, whatever, couldn't find a fucking single story all day, and like today, it's, it's, like, everything's happening. There's loads of stuff. So, so yeah, right. Whatever. There's quite a bit of stuff to get through. Let's have a look what's happening. What's happening today? What's happening today? Right, so whatever, right? So Boris, like, um, said yeah, yeah, either at one earlier or yesterday or some point, right, whatever. So Boris got videoed with this, like, giving this speech, just like Tory activist thing. He started telling lies about what was going on in Northern Ireland and stuff, yeah. Yeah, but whatever, was like another little bit to this speech thing, yeah. So I only like saw a clip of it first, then it was like, whatever, it's about six or seven minutes long, this speech, so I watched that as well, right? Basically, right, it was just a bit funny because, like, this this speech that he gave was just rambling all over the place, whatever, he didn't like, like he had any structure, he just kept jumping off on different things all the time, he just kept saying things that didn't seem relevant to anything, it was just like, I think he was a bit drunk, to be honest. He had a glass of wine in his hand when he was talking. I think he was a bit drunk. He was a bit rambling and stuff. Do you know what I mean? He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He, didn't, he, wasn't, he wasn't being his normal self. Do you know what I mean? So maybe he was a bit drunk. But whatever, he said some stupid things. Anyway, I went on this massive long speech, basically about how amazing the EU is. <laughs> so I don't about freedom of movement. That's like one of the most awesome things and stuff. And you're like, whatever, mate. You just fucking. Negotiated to Brexit to leave EU, and now you're going on about how amazing it is. It was just, just totally bizarre to watch him just ramble on about how amazing EU is and stuff. It's just, I don't know, it was just a really bizarre thing. Well, I think he's losing plot of it, to be honest. Ah, Boris, man. Whatever. Right, so, whatever. Fucking America. Right, man, whatever, Trump. It's just. Proper does not give a fuck about the environment, man, yeah? Right, so whatever, it's just slashed all this fucking legislation that was in. I saw over there they've got this thing called EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, yeah? Right, whatever, it's slashed all funding and stuff to this, yeah? Basically, whatever, they've got, like, this fucking rule book thing that they follow, yeah? Whatever, it's just changed all this stuff now, right? Basically... All the federal protections about how to protect the environment from, like, water supply and all sorts of other shit, yeah? Whatever, the environmental protection stuff, yeah? Whatever's just slashed all this stuff, changed all these rules and stuff, like, yeah? So basically, one of the things that's done is because it's pushing this fucking coal business, yeah? Like, it's just put massive investment into building fucking coal power stations and stuff. Like, whatever, man, this is just... It fucking boils my blood when I see what's going on in America when it comes to the environment, man. She proper don't give a fuck at all. Like, whatever. I mean, oh. we used to go mental about China and all their fucking coal power plants and stuff when they were, you know, when they were industrializing and stuff like this and like all shit they were spewing out. Like, whatever, they've basically phased all that shit out and America's going backwards and going back to coal. And stuff, yeah. So whatever with these coal things, right? So it's got all these new coal, coal power stations and like coal mining and stuff. And all that's taking off and stuff over there in America. And yeah, you know, basically, so these rules and stuff, well, it's just slashed and changed everything. And like whatever, there's like basically no protection to anything now, right? So they change these rules to do it coal industry. So whatever, all shit and stuff that comes out of coal, you have to deal with it in certain ways. Do you know what I mean? Make sure it doesn't like whatever, fucking contaminate areas and stuff like that, yeah? Whatever, just removed all that stuff, so basically it doesn't matter what they do with this shit, just pump it wherever they want. So basically change, change these two rules about how they're supposed to deal with stuff. So like the first one's all about like how they deal with all the ash and all the like slag and stuff, whatever else shit that comes out of it, yeah? It's about that, like sort of physical stuff. And the other one's about how they're supposed to protect water from all this stuff, yeah? Whatever, so they've cut all this rule, so like, whatever, all these places are now, like, water supply's all fucked, yeah? It's all, whatever, it's full of shit, so, like, whatever, man, fucking, whatever, it's just fucking horrific what he's doing to the country, man. Well, not to the, just to the country, to the fucking world, do you know what I mean? America, it's massive, 
starts doing all this shit. Fucking hell. So, yeah, so that's what Trump's up to. Fucking destroying Environmental Protection Agency, cutting all its rules, making sure nothing fucking happens. Fucking hate this man, man, whatever. So, yeah, whatever. Right, economic news. Life in capitalism. So, whatever. UK economies have whatever. Every day, a bit of bad news. There's a bit more bad news for you about UK economy. So, whatever, right. So, there's these things, right. They're called, like, credit rating agencies. about three of them, yeah. Basically, like, it's basically saying, like, basically how trustworthy the country is, yeah, in terms of, like, um, debts, do you know what I mean, like, should you trust this country to pay back its debts and stuff, yeah, and, like, it's all around about the bond market, so, like, the bond market, I've said before, that's how governments raise money, they don't go to a bank and loan some money, they produce these things called bonds, and then people buy them, and then that's how they raise money, yeah, so, whatever, it's all about that, how, how much can you trust them, if you buy their bonds, how much are you likely to get paid back on this, yeah, so, whatever, the largest one of these credit rating agencies is called Moody's, yeah? So whatever, Moody's has just done an analysis of the British economy, marks everything down. Right, so they've got different grades of how trustworthy and everything you are, yeah? So whatever, the top grade is A, 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 triple A, yeah? Whatever, being downgraded now, so now we're down to A, A, two, right? So like, whatever, like Germany's triple A, but now we've been downgraded, so basically saying we're not that trustworthy. Now, this is going to have a massive, massive effect on this economy, right? Basically saying, stay away from Britain. Do you know what I mean? Don't invest in Britain. Don't get involved in that economy. It's going downhill. It's basically what they're saying. That's what. That's like whatever the, the consequences of this is, is that we're no longer a trustworthy place to buy bonds and shit like that, which means government's going to find it harder to raise money, which means whatever that's going to have a massive knock-on effect in like how the economy's being run in this country. Whatever, man. It just keeps, just keeps getting worse every day. It's just more horrific news for British economy, man. Whatever. So yeah, so whatever. Moody's have downgraded us from what they called stable to what they call negative. Yeah. So whatever. This is another thing that I've been saying about how bad things are. It's the Brexit and shit. Yeah. Whatever. So now, so now the rest of the world. He's not going to trust us and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like we've just basically been downgraded as an economy. Our economy's just been dropped from being one of the best economies to to being shit. Essentially, that's what's happened. We've now got a different rating around the world, so it's going to have massive, massive knock-on effects about how we could possibly go forward in that thing. Right. So, right. In other news. <clears throat> So basically, this is a story, I've covered this quite a few times, what's going on in America, right, yeah? So, like, the thing is, like, in America, like, football, soccer, whatever, yeah? Like, basically, when it started off over there, it was basically like a w women's sport, yeah? Women used to play the get football. Then, whatever, it started to take off a bit more, like, whatever, I think it's more to do with, like, demographic changes and stuff, more Latin American people who are into football, do you know what I mean? South America's big in football and stuff, innit? So you've got more South Americans coming into America, so whatever football's taking off a little bit more over there, like the men's sport, yeah? But whatever, right? It was the women's sport where it all started off, and whatever, women's sport is like 10 times bigger than the men's sport, it's been going around a lot longer, whatever, it's got a lot more following and stuff, so more sports turn up and shit, whatever. It's like proper big over there. Like, whatever, women's football's not big anywhere else. Do you know what I mean? Like in Britain, it's not big. You have like, whatever, a couple of thousand people turning up to a game or something. Whatever, it's not a big thing. Nobody watches it. Who gives a shit about women's football? It's not a thing. Like in America, it's proper opposite way around. It's all women's sport. It's all massive over there. It's like a huge fucking sport in America, women's football, yeah? Much, 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 much bigger than the men's, yeah? Right, so whatever, right? So that's the situation in America, right? So, like, whatever, the thing is... What this is about, right, the thing is, uh, essentially, women don't get paid anything like what men get paid, right? So, like, men, it's not a big thing, it's not the big sport, but, yeah, they get paid a hell of a lot more than the women do, where it is a big sport, yeah, whatever. So, women, women football's like, whatever, fuck this shit, it's not fair, should get paid same. So, like, they started having these little demonstrations and stuff, right, whatever, they'd have, like, 
t-shirts under the shirts and stuff and pull it up and what have we, yeah? And then they're having demonstrations before games and after games and stuff like that, yeah? So like that, that, that all started, right, yeah? And basically it spread everywhere, right? It's happening in Spain, Germany, places like that in Europe and stuff. Women's football are up in arms about this, about getting equal pay and stuff, yeah? And yeah, right, so whatever, it's been going on, but like within the, just like within the sport, this has happened, yeah? They went on strike as well at one point, I think. But whatever, right, it's a massive issue and needs sorting out. But anyway, right, so so th uh, this was like just going on within the spot initially, right? But whatever, it's moved on from that now. They've basically, like, done a massive, like, um, what do you call it, fucking class action. They've done a massive class action. They're taking it to court, right? So they're taking governing body to court of uh, gender discrimination, wanting equal pay, whatever, it's a good thing. So whatever, it's gone to courts now, so I'll see what happens there. But whatever, do, I don't even know what if there's gender discrimination law in America, I don't really know about that. But whatever, it's gone to courts, we'll see what happens. So whatever, hopefully, hopefully something will be done. And the thing is that like, if this happens in America, it's gonna spread everywhere, right? Whatever, we, women, women footballers are gonna be demanding this all, all over, right? So that can only be a good thing, can't it? Do you know what I mean? Whatever. Anything that gives them a bit more money, that's a good thing. So whatever, right? That's, so that's pretty good. Um, see what happens in courts. You never fucking tell what's gonna happen in court cases, can you, man? But whatever, we'll see what happens with that. Right, so. In Italy, right, so like as part of like their education system thing, yeah, they have like whatever, like a national curriculum, a bit similar like we do in Britain, yeah, so whatever, it's kind of set by government, and there's like certain subjects that they have to do, like whatever, Italian, math, science, things like that, they're all kind of mandatory things, yeah, and then there's like other options for other subjects that they might study, yeah, right, so that basically that's how they run their education system. Anyhow, right, whatever, so, I don't know if it's called federal court or whatever it is, but like top, top, top people, yeah, like basically just decided that as part of the mandatory classes, they're going to do climate change, so all kids in Italy are going to get taught about climate and climate change, that's pretty awesome, that's, that's, that's good, let's have more of that about, do you know what I mean, whatever, let's teach our kids about what's going on. It's their fucking future and stuff, do you know what I mean? So whatever, that's pretty good. So they've made it mandatory now that all kids have to learn about climate change and everything that's going on and thinking that can only be a good thing, can't it? Right, so yeah, that's happening. <laughs> what about this? <laughs> yeah, what about this? Fucking Trump, Mr. I'm a billionaire, not bad. Whatever, he's just got fined two million fucking dollars, <laughs> whatever. Two million dollars, you know what for? Cause, Cause, he's fucking mis misusing funds for his own election thing. Whatever. Is this this is like whatever. All shit's coming out in Britain about politicians doing dodgy shit, and now he's at it as well. Whatever. Can't trust these fuckers at all, can you? Whatever. Can't even run a fucking clean campaign. That's that stealing other funds from other places and whatever. Anyway, it's been taken to court. As Trump's been fined two million quid. So there's that. <laughs> whatever. Well, it won't be a day with why in it if Tories want up to some shit that, like, whatever. They want some bad news for Tories. So, like, whatever, some more bad news for Tories. Here we are today. So, whatever, another one of them knobheads. He's had to resign over some shit he said about rape victims, yeah? Said, said about rape victims. They should have just kept the knickers on. Whatever, don't even know where to start with what's wrong with that, yeah? Like, as if... Rapists are taking the knickers off or some shit. I don't know what the hell's going through this guy's mind. But whatever comes out with this shit. Anyhow, whatever, he's had to resign. But this is, this is what Tories are like, do you know what I mean? They don't give a fuck about anybody. Rape victims, yeah, keep your knickers on. Fucking cunts. Fucking cunts, man. Anyhow, whatever, he's had to resign, so that's happened. Right, so, whatever... Usually try to keep all economic news together. Well, I've got some more economic news here as well, whatever. So.
So, as I've been saying before in other things, like, there's a bit of a shit going on in Euros, though, right? Fucking German recession, German, like, economy is, like, almost broken. It's like, whatever, it just needs, like, one little thing and it's going to go into recession, do you know what I mean? It's just, like, edging on the edge of it like this, yeah, whatever. Brexit will probably push it over edge or whatever. But the thing is, right, it's having a massive net, net. The thing is that Germany, the German economy, is the powerhouse of the EU, right? It's much bigger than anything else. It's much more powerful. Like, whatever, in terms of <coughs> geographical size, France and Germany are fairly the same, but Germany's a much bigger economy. It's got a much bigger economy. It does a hell of a lot more than what France does, whatever. So it's basically like the engine room of what goes on. And like with the with the euro thing, like the currency thing, whatever, Germany's like the main power on that or whatever, yeah? So like whatever, the euro zone's like not, look, it's not looking good. <clears throat> We've got loads of sectors that have already gone into recession. And like the only thing that's keeping it afloat is that Germany haven't actually gone into recession yet, whatever, but like whatever, it looks like that's going to happen at any moment. So, so like whatever, right? So, so they've been looking at the EU, the EU economy and stuff, and what's going on. And basically, what's happened is they've cut growth forecasts back. So, like it looks like like what I've been saying, things are slowing down and the economy's not like working or whatever. So, so they've had to cut growth forecasts down to one point two percent, one point two percent. I mean, it's practically nothing. Practically nothing. See, the problem is in Europe, what happened is when we had a crash and stuff, yeah, basically the Anglosphere decided that what we needed to do was like cut back on austerity shit, yeah. And basically, like, whatever at that time, like Britain's still part of EU and stuff, and essentially convinced the EU that that's what, the, that's what you needed to do is cut back on austerity stuff, yeah. So, Euro just basically followed what Britain and America did, like, exactly the wrong thing to do. It's why we're still where we are after 10 years because that's not that's the absolute opposite of what you're supposed to do in that situation but whatever so Euroland kind of followed along yeah and like now you've got you've got like a reaction to that so like Portugal were like fuck that we're not going to do that we're going to use some Keynesianism their economy's taken off that's pretty going, going all right Spain did sort of same thing so there's like a bit of a change now where people are realising that's not what you should do. You need to get into Keynesianism. So it started to, started to happen a little bit in like basically how the EU's like sorting itself out and stuff. But whatever, right now everything's not looking good. Most of the countries are still suffering from this austerity bullshit that's been going on. They haven't changed over to Keynesianism or anything like that. But, But anyhow, right, things are not looking good. So they've had to cut down what their growth forecast is for this. Um, and, like, whatever, European Central Bank, who I've said before, they, like, deal with, like, monetary policy and stuff, set interest rates and what have you, and, like, try and control how much money there actually is in circulation and stuff like that, yeah? It's kind of what their job is. Like, they have, like, inflation targets. I don't really know what ECB is, but, like, in Britain it's 2%. So whatever, it's probably something round about that. It's usually that round about that for whatever like they, that's their job so whatever so so EU's had to say right whatever it's growth forecast been cut so as a reaction to that the ECB's just gone and cut interest rates yeah so that's like whatever borrowing's a lot cheaper there's going to be more borrowing going on meaning there's going to be more money and stuff in circulation like essentially in monetary politics that's what it tells you to do if you want to stimulate the economy you need to put your interest rates down yeah and get more money in circulation and stuff, and that's how you kick it off. That's that's what monetarism says, yeah? So that's basically what they're following. They're not doing Keynesian stuff, they're just following straight monetarist policies, yeah? So basically, whatever, ECB's just cut, just cut interest rates. I don't actually know what rate it's at, man. I proper forgot to write that down. Um, I'm not sure, but whatever. It's probably around about 1% or something like that. What's Fed at? Fed's at 2. We're at... 0.75 so it's probably around about one percent or something i'm not sure i forgot to write that down i'm sorry about that but whatever right so whatever they've cut it anyhow they're trying to stimulate the economy whatever they've only just done it like these things take ages to work do you know what i mean when you when you cut interest rates it might take six months before it actually has an effect because the economy is so big it takes a long time for things to work through it do you know what i mean like but whatever that's what they're trying to do that's how they're trying to get out of it but it's just basically monetarism what they're using whatever so they've cut their rates anyhow right what i say so growth rates just, just like whatever, this growth thing's like the whole of the EU, yeah, like, but whatever, we're, we're 
EU works is all these economies are all kind of separate. You're sharing euro and stuff, but whatever tax rates and stuff are all different everywhere. The economy is different. Do you know what I mean? Some places are growing and some places are not, and that's kind of what's happening. So, like, whatever, yeah. So, overall growth rate, 1.2%. But whatever, worst place is Italy, and they've got growth rate of 0.4%, or whatever, that's practically zero. Whatever, do you know what I mean? So, so whatever, even in EU, it's looking pretty shit over there as well, economically. Trying to get themselves out of it, but whatever. But, like, the thing is, they're working on low margins, anyhow. So, like, it's not like whatever. If you dropped interest rates like 5% or something, it's have a massive effect. If you're just fucking about by changing it like half a percent or whatever, it's not really going to do that much to it, anyhow. But, but whatever, right? Whatever. I mean, whatever. They just need some Keynes in economics, but there's nobody really pushing that in Europe at the moment. They're still in this monetary bullshit. Whatever, they're not actually pushing austerity. It kind of stops that a bit at the moment in Europe. Yeah, they they're not cutting back anymore, but they're not really expanding or investing anything. I mean, people putting, trying to put pressure on Germany to start stimulating the economy, put some stuff in, Germany's like n not doing it. So, whatever. Seem to be in a bit of a pickle over there, if I'm honest. Right, so, in Riot News, where's Riot in today? Well, whatever, right, it's not, I don't know, but it's whatever, it is Riot in, it's all kicking off and shit, right, but this is just like proper weird story, I don't really know what to think about this. Right, so whatever, in Bolivia, yeah, I've, I've talked about this before, what's going on over there. So, like, whatever, there's a selection, this Morales guy gets elected, yeah, it turns out there's loads of fucking fraud and shit going on here, he shouldn't be elected, but whatever, he's not standing down or anything so like massive riots and stuff in streets yeah like whatever same shit as what's always been going on whatever the court military and shit out over there right whatever right whatever this story i don't really know what to think about this but whatever fucking police have decided to join on the side of protesters <laughs> the police is like joining in the protests on the side of the protesters yeah so morales is like whatever is this some kind of fucking coup that's going on here so he's going to start having military operations. So whatever, you're going to have the military fighting the police. <laughs> what kind of madness is this? Right? But whatever. So police are getting involved. What signed up? Protests? What the hell is this? I don't know, when, when has that ever happened before, right? I can't remember that ever happening in any other place ever. Where police come onto your side. But whatever. So fuck knows what's going to happen there. If military start fighting police. What the hell is that? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. It's not a revolution. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the hell that is, but that's what's happening in Bolivia, anyhow, right? So whatever. Make of that what you fucking will. Right, so whatever. San Francisco. Right, whatever. Bit of a lefty city. Likes its environmentalism. It's fucking hipsters and shit. Whatever. Bit of San Francisco. Anyhow, what they done? They could put a massive fucking mural up of this Greta Thunberg. You know, the... Little climate activist, proper cool girl, whatever. Like whatever they put this massive mural up, right? It's like the entirety of some massive building. I'm just got a massive mural of her up there to remind people of the importance of the climate. That's what they said. So whatever, that's pretty cool. Whatever, got your face on a fucking wall in the middle of San Francisco, right? Don't you? Whatever, you made it. It's awesome. So, right, whatever. America, American news, Democratic nomination, Sanders is beating everybody. Thousands and thousands and thousands of people turning up. But anyway, whatever, this is like a story, right? It's basically like this little video that came out. Like what I've said, right, it's just like, them, like AOC and Bernie Sanders got this awesome, awesome relationship. I don't even really know how to categorize it exactly. This is this massive generational gap between the two. But they're awesome, they're just like best mates and stuff. There's this little video, like, AOC makes this video on her phone or something. She's like, whatever, let's go meet Bernie. She walks into the room and Bernie's like, Ah, what are you doing here? It's just, it's just like the most adorable thing ever, do you know what I mean? But it's like politics or whatever, but whatever, it's proper cool. And it's awesome because these two have like made, they're just like really best mates, they really are. You can, you can just, Whatever, they've just got this awesome fucking relationship and it comes across really well. And he's, she, like, she keeps doing these videos for her Instagram thing, like whatever. It's like little clips and stuff of her walking into rooms and whatever. It's like a bit of random shit. But whatever, when she meets him, it's just awesome. It's like electric, everything. Do you know what I mean? It's an awesome relationship. 
it's proper awesome for Bernie because like whatever she's bringing in all youth vote and everything and do you know what I mean all young leftists in Democrat by or, or, or behind AOC and she's she's got them all inside of Bernie man I proper fucking hope he gets the nomination man I proper hope he does it'd be awesome it'd be awesome for America and you have this proper Trump versus Sanders man that's proper fucking awesome election isn't it do you know what I mean that's going to be pretty good far left versus knobhead right whatever That'd be pretty good. So whatever, I'll see what happens. But whatever, them two, they're just adorable. They're absolutely adorable. <laughs> right, so yeah, whatever. Britain, British election shit, yeah. So whatever, Lib Dems, Bright Gumry, Greens, Change UK, some independents, whatever, came together, wrote this packed thing up. So they're not going to stand in one another's constituencies. Each... Each party gets a certain number of seats that they're going to run unopposed. Don't, yeah, whatever, right. So this thing's come out that actually, whatever, this tactic thing that you're doing might actually backfire on you. It's like what they're doing is like whatever. So like in Brighton, yeah, the Green Party are going to allow, be allowed to run there, yeah. I think it's Brighton, anyhow. But like whatever, there's a few places like where they're standing, but actually they're standing against Labour Party, people who are also remain do you know what i mean like the labor party mps who are remain in favor of a people's vote and that these these people are standing in the same election so they might end up splitting the remain vote between these two which actually helps boris johnson do you know what i mean so actually this tactic that they're doing might help get boris johnson in and we end up with his shitty deal getting passed so this is put a bit of a spanner in works about this thing, yeah? So like whatever, there's like massive conversations about what to do about this and actually whatever, why don't... Because the thing is like Labour aren't part of this pact, so so whatever, they've got no reason not to stand against them apart from you're going to split the remaining vote. So I don't know what they're going to do about that, but whatever, this massive problem that's just come out, that's just be, like been people are just, just kind of realising that that's what's going to happen, so... I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, whatever, Labour are not going to stand down and let them stand, but are they going to stand down and let Labour win? Do you know what I mean? Like, what's more important to you? So I don't know. I don't know what the fuck's going to happen with that, but it's quite it's quite interesting, that like how that could fucking play out and actually, like, whatever, like, making the least thing that you want if you're a remain the last thing you want is fucking t boris getting in and bringing his shitty plan to fruition do you know what i mean like so whatever it's an interesting conundrum that they found themselves in so whatever see what they do see what they do right so boris mr boris right whatever he's going around the country making a complete fool of himself most of the time Fucking whatever, still whatever. Again, not a good story. I haven't found a good story about Boris at all. Not one good thing has happened to him since the start of this election. <laughs> whatever. If you were to read press, you won't. You whatever. Like so, whatever. If Boris is fucking up constantly every day, people are resigning left, right, and centre. Gets caught lying every fucking day and like misleading people with this, lying to these people. Whatever. All this shit. Whatever, people over rape. How many times we heard about rape in the last fucking week? Two people of theirs having to resign over rape shit. Whatever. Whatever. Right, but whatever, you'd think, yeah, everything's terrible for Tories, so what does that imply? It implies that things are good for Labour, yeah? But whatever, read press, you're not going to hear that. You're not going to hear anything good about Labour. Their Tory party are trashing their entire election campaign, but you're not hearing anything about how that's good for Labour or how Labour might win or anything like that. Whatever, that's not happening in press. Proper fucking whatever. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you think whatever, oh yeah, press are a bit. What, they're just biased to fuck. They're clearly not giving Labour any anything. Any right, so Boris, right, is whatever, fucking off around country, turning up at hospitals unannounced. Do you remember when he turned up at an hospital and the doctor gave him a lot of shit? Well, he keeps doing this, turning up at places without telling anybody he's going to be there. What's this all about, right? So whatever, he just randomly turns up at this school, right? So whatever. So he turns up at this school, right? And like, it's whatever, just before dinner time or something, yeah? Right, so whatever. So all kids come out, see Boris, start giving him a lot of shit, right? So whatever, basically tells, tells headmistress to... Get the kids into the class as away from him, yeah? 
So all kids have to go back in class and sit in class for dinner time, do you know what I mean? They're not allowed out at room. It's people with free free time as well, who can be supposed to be able to do what they want, but they've got to stay in the classroom as well. They're not allowed to go out in case they meet Boris. You know what I mean? What are you scared of fucking kids? Whatever, right? So whatever these kids getting treated like pieces of shit after staying in the classroom just because Boris has turned up at their school, can't go for the dinner or anything. Whatever, whatever. Fucking Boris scared of children. Right, so, whatever, remember a few days ago, Boris, we, so whatever, Labour comes out with some awesome environmental stuff, so Boris is like, yeah, what the fuck can we do? He's like, oh yeah, whatever, we'll ban fracking. You're like, oh, you're going to ban it? Oh, well, whatever, we're going to have a moratorium. All right, so you're not banning it then. No, it's got a moratorium, moratorium, so it's awesome, so yes, right, whatever. So he calls this moratorium shit, yeah? Which basically means he's going to do it at some late stage. He's not banning it. He's not stopping it. He's just, like, stalling it or some shit. Yeah, whatever. Anyhow, right, so whatever. So in order to do that, he has to, like, like pass, like, f rules and shit. Yeah, whatever. So anyhow, right, so he's, he's done the... He's done the... the I know it's not a piece of legislation, but whatever, like, commands to the fucking departments to, to get this shit done. Yeah, whatever. He's published all this stuff about what's going to happen, right? So now we've got the details of what this moratorium actually is, right? So what it is, is, yeah, it's kind of banned at the moment in Yorkshire, yeah? But all over the rest of the countries, nothing's changing, right? Whatever! So fracking's going on everywhere apart from in the north, and that's it. Whatever! Whatever! It's not even a fucking moratorium, this! Well, I don't know what it is. It's just picking on Yorkshire or some shit. But whatever! So, fracking's happening everywhere, apart from in Yorkshire, and that's apparently a moratorium. Whatever! Whatever! Anyhow, guys, that's all I've got for you. You'll have to wait for tomorrow, or till I get some more shit.